Hello, this is Sunil Sundaraj with Sunil Sundaraj LLC and SunilSundaraj.com. I'm here at Prams Catholic High School in Prams, New Jersey. Final score tonight, DePaul Catholic, Spartans 55, Prams Catholic 28. I'm here with DePaul Catholic head coach Nick Campanelli. Congrats, Coach Campanelli, on the win. Undefeated at 5-0. Again, all to just a fantastic start. Just talk about how good of a feeling this is. Yeah, no, it's good. You know, um, we're out of where we're at as a team. You know, we put a lot of hard work into to this point. And, uh, you know, we're just going to continue. Nothing's going to change. We're going to continue to do what we've done to this point, which is take it one day at a time, get better each day, and, and hopefully we'll continue to stay on this roll. Hey, this, this offense has been just absolutely electric the last year. I mean, all season long, but especially these last three games, Coach, I mean, you know, well in excess over 100 points, you know, 150 points close to it. Yeah. Talk about how, how good of a feeling that is, I mean, just to see it firing in all cylinders. It, it is, yeah. You know, obviously we're blessed with some great players. I mean, hats off to them. It's really all about them. I'm really proud of the way the offensive line is playing. That's really what's making us go right now. Obviously, we've got tremendous skill guys and Nolan James. Yeah. Des Jones and Elijah Burris. Our yeah. quarterback is playing fantastic, you know. But, but I'm really my biggest... Uh, I guess the thing I'm most proud of is that the offensive line is gelling and they're doing, you know, opening holes for guys. They're protecting the quarterback, and we're going to go as far as they take us. Yeah, I mean, talk about you know, junior quarterback Derek. Sam. I mean, it, it's amazing. I mean, he's only a junior; he's still got another year left under his belt. Yeah. Three touchdown passes tonight. Just showing that poise, you know, in the the pocket. You know, I said being able to spread the ball out to numerous, you know, wide receivers and running backs. I mean, he really has just that overall perspective of the field and just really, I mean, just can see it downfield. I mean, can chuck it downfield. I mean, you know, short, you know, long passing game. He really, you know, has the complete package there. Talk about that, Coach. Yeah, he does. I mean, you said it. Poise is the key with Derek. Always has been. You know, I remember when he was a 14-year-old freshman and starting playing against Burton Catholic and starting in the state championship. You know, the moment's never too big for him. He's just consistently gotten better. He has an unbelievable work ethic, incredibly smart. You know, he's a lot of fun to coach. And again, obviously, he's the catalyst. He's the guy, the, the leader of this offense. And he's the guy that makes it go. And uh, you're right, only a junior, and I can't wait to see what he does the rest of this year and into next year. Yeah, and another, I mean, obviously, playmaker and senior running back, Nolan Jeans, four touchdown runs tonight. Just to, again, you know, the way he cuts, you know, he's able to, like, you know, Really throw the defense, you know, as it off their game. Just talk about having, you know, such a, you know, again, prolific guy and then him, you know, just a running back in, in uh, Nolan there. Yeah, I mean, you know, the thing with him is he's just the most complete running back, I, honestly, that I can remember in high school football in a long time. I mean, he's a great blocker. He does a great job in pass protection. He catches the ball great right out of the backfield. Obviously, he runs with the ball tremendously. He's just so physical, you know, and nobody seems to be able to bring him down at the first on the first hit, you know, so... He, a lot of his yards are after contact, if you notice. You know, so um, offensive line's doing a great job of, of opening holes, but he's extending plays and, and you know breaking tackles, and he's just played incredibly well. Lights out. Hey, you jumped out to the 13 nothing lead, 26 7 at the half. It got crazy there in the yeah, third quarter. Yeah, yeah. Back and forth, they cut it to five, coach. But this team, you know, it said uh, definitely, you know, stepped up. Yeah. You know, their backs were against the wall. Showed a lot of displayed a lot of character. I'm sure you're proud of that, you know, just to see how they responded to that. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I wish, I wish we didn't allow ourselves to get in that position, but, but I am proud of the way we rebounded and responded. And we've talked about that. You know, our big thing all year has been we want to dominate the last four minutes of the first half and the first four minutes of the second half. And I think it's really the first time we didn't do that. Okay? So, but on the other hand, I do love, love the way that, that we rebounded, you know, and, and deal, dealt with that adversity. You know, that, that showed a lot. We said we shows a lot, of, a lot of character on our play. Yeah. And defense, you know, as I said, came up big. And then special teams as well. I mean, they, yeah. they yeah. attempted yeah. an onside kick. Yep. Uh, that, yeah. you know, failed. And, like, you know, you're able to return it to the house. Yep. Big play in the game. Momentum shifter, uh, Coach. Yeah. It, it just, again, you know, just see all phases, you know, really, again, clicking here. Yeah. And, uh, and I'll just say that that guy that returned that, that onside kick, he, he's kind of the unsung hero of this team. I mean, he, He's the most selfless kid you could ever imagine. He he's, plays almost every play. He plays both ways. You know, he's one of the few guys on our team that, that does that. Uh, he's an incredible blocker on offense. You know, he, he obviously doesn't get the ball with the amount of talent that we have in the skill positions, but he got it tonight and he he, he did something with it. So that, that was really cool. It was great to see. Uh, really proud of that guy. He's yeah. as good a player as we have on our team. Hey, I know the schedule doesn't get easier, Coach, but just talk about, I mean, you know, moving ahead here and just – be able to focus on the next, you know, opponent. 
No, it's not. It, you know, it, it, again, for you, you know, I it said it, it's always a challenge every week, you know, but uh, yeah. just describe that. Yeah, so, you know, obviously, we want to enjoy this a little bit tonight, but uh, we got Don Bosco next yeah. week. I mean, that's yeah. just you know, big a game as, yeah. as there is. They're a great program. They're playing. From what I understand, I haven't really watched them yet, but they're, they're playing really good football if you look at their, their scores. And obviously, you know, it's every week, like you said, is going to be a battle in this, in this game, yeah. or, excuse me, in this league. So, you know, we'll enjoy it tonight, but we will get literally right back to work tomorrow morning and, and start focusing on Don Bosco. Sounds good. Thank you, Coach.